Brightline's high-speed train service from Miami to Orlando kicked off four months ago. But in the last few weeks, concern about safety along the tracks through Brevard County has grown following those deadly collisions. Our Brevard Bureau Chief Scott Heidler joins us live in Melbourne, where even more changes are happening to keep people safe. Scott. Right, we're at that WH Jackson crossing. This is where those two deadly incidents took place. Three people were killed. Changes are being made. You can see behind me there are pylons in the middle of the road now. And Brightline this week has installed a camera system. Even with those new safety measures, some locals are still concerned. Betty's Antiques in downtown Melbourne, right next to the tracks. Less than a mile up from the deadly crossing, it's been there for 30 years. It's always been dangerous. People don't pay attention to the signs. They don't pay attention to the arms. They don't have time. And now with the faster, more frequent Brightline trains still happening. Well, last night I was out there uh, and a white car went around the arms. Uh, didn't want to wait. A gentleman on a bicycle went around the arms and then a homeless lady decided she was going to go under the arms. Brightline has used red light cameras in Miami-Dade County. They send violations to local police departments. The camera probably won't help, but the, the uh, dividers maybe will. But, you know, it's hard to fix stupid. The cameras in Bavard should be operational this week. Violators will get a warning in the mail. Melbourne Mayor Paul Alfrey sees the cameras as a way to get a clear picture of how many people are violating and going around the crossing arms. The cameras, if you can give them a ticket, but to me, your life's worth more than a ticket. Brightline says that that camera system is mobile, so it can be moved from crossing to crossing this in the hopes of preventing further incidents. Reporting live in Melbourne, Scott Heidler, West 2 News.